What is up guys, welcome to another video. Today's reaction is 10 things McDonald's in Australia do differently than us. So let's see what this is all about. Let's see what we got here. Let's get on with it. Mansion? McDonald's? One of the great things about traveling is getting to try new kinds of regional food from all over the world, delighting in Russian borscht or German sauerkraut. But did you know that fast food chains in foreign countries aren't the same as what you're used to at home? Well, let's travel down under to look at 10 things McDonald's in Australia do differently than us. Nice. It's all... <laughs> I like how they show that kangaroo there. But you know, like, the countries I've traveled to, like, Every McDonald's has like different meals, you know, they don't have the same stuff in, in all the countries. They have their own like country kind of food. So let's see what Australia has for us here. In the name. That is how I came to America and you got your name. The Aussies will probably understand what you mean if you ask them for directions to the nearest McDonald's to satisfy your fast food cravings, but you'll find you have better luck if you ask them for a route to Macca's instead. In America, you'd be more likely to hear the nickname Mickey D's, but that's not how things roll in the land down under. Instead, Macca's is a term of endearment used by burger and pastry enthusiasts alike. No, not macaroon, though you can find those sweet treats in an Australian Australian McDonald's, as will be discussed. And definitely not Macca, as in Mac and Cheese, mm. which, like in America, is not on the menu. And though you should definitely Bro, Mac and Cheese, though, love that. Love it so much. Definitely try the signature and well-loved beetroot burger at an Australian McDonald's. It doesn't mean the Macca root. In Australia, it's all about Maccas. Go ahead, say it out loud. And they're very loud! It's one of the many fun slang words that you'll encounter in Australia, along with the more well-known mate and crikey, among countless other terms. Moreover, there's a special insider membership called My Maccas, where you can earn points, provide important important feedback, and save your favorite selections. Macca's is almost as fun to pronounce as it is to actually visit, so book your flight to Australia today. As the Aussies would say, you'll defo have a great time. Go and have a great time. Different toppings. Possession of a condiment. An often overlooked but decidedly crucial part of a fast food feast is the sauces and dressing yeah, you slap. sauces at McDonald's are just lovely. And watching this is actually making me hungry. So after this, I'm going to have something to eat, you know, like this is making my stomach in so much pain right now. Gather on top of your burgers, dip your fries into, mm. and drizzle over your salads. That's right, condiments. Fast food just wouldn't be the same without them. One major difference between the Australian and American menus in this regard has to do with a well-known and often misunderstood condiment. Can you guess what it is? You know it, it's Vegemite. The Aussies sure do love their Vegemite, which is made out of leftover brewery yeast extract, vegetables, and spices. Ooh, it's a unique food spread that the rest of the world may question, but don't bash it until you've tried it, which you can do at any McDonald's in Australia. Other condiments you can only find at Macca's include a garlic aioli sauce and whipped butter. Fresh creamery butter. But there are also some condiments only available in America, some that the Aussies miss out on. For example, you can order a salad with ranch dressing, French or Italian dressing, or creamy Southwest dressing in the United States, but not so in Australia. And should an Aussie want a taste of habanero ranch sauce or honey mustard sauce with their Big Mac, they'll have to fly to North America. Americans love a winner. Bucket list Wi-Fi. Nobody can live without the internet. Free Wi-Fi is a term that's become ubiquitous around the world, and McDonald's is no exception. While most McDonald's locations worldwide offer free Wi-Fi, Macca's locations in Australia put a very McDonald's-esque spin on the whole idea. At Macca's, you're not getting free Wi-Fi, you're getting free Wi-Fi. According oh. to their website, connecting is simple. When in the McDonald's restaurant, just turn on the Wi-Fi on your device. Why is 
is no one liking my posts? Then select Maca's free Wi-Fi from the available wireless networks. You're probably thinking, hey, this sounds a lot like regular Wi-Fi. What's the difference? And the answer is, well, nothing really. It's Wi-Fi internet just like you'd expect, but that doesn't stop it from being extra cool. This is now on our bucket list. Watching Babble Top McDonald's videos on the Maca Wi-Fi wireless network. I'll be the internet. Mick Cafe. Was that my coffee? <laughs> no. McDonald's coffee has become a well-loved commodity, one that so many people simply could not live without. Indeed, it could even be considered as a main staple of the franchise. In Canada, it is a strong competitor for Tim Hortons coffee, which is saying something when you consider just how much they love their Tims. In Australia, the hype for Macca's coffee is very real, maybe even more so than in North America. How could this be, you may ask in disbelief, seeing as America is known globally for drinking coffee instead of the more European choice of tea. Well, when the Aussies head to their local coffee shop, they head to McCafe. No, they don't go to Macca's to order a McCafe. They go to McCafe to order a coffee. What is a flat white? That's right, you're understanding me correctly. There is a whole other restaurant spin-off branch, one that more closely resembles a cafe than a fast food chain restaurant. At Mick Cafe, you can satisfy all your coffee shop cravings. Well, basically, I do get coffees like from McDonald's now and then, like sometimes when I'm driving past, like a quick drive through gets quick coffee. It's, it's not bad, it's good coffee, you know, so. With countless sweet pastries and coffee combinations to choose from. It's a smart business model, considering the people who are hungry for burgers may not be the same people who are thirsting for coffee. This way, everyone wins. That is how we win. <laughs> Different choices at McDonald's Australia. It is the choices that we make. One of the fun parts of traveling is trying out new types of regional food. This doesn't just. Sorry for that mean unique dishes in cozy little mom and pop type restaurants, though those are fun too. But it can be especially interesting to see what kinds of choices are available in seemingly familiar restaurants. Don't walk into Macca's and expect to see a menu exactly like the one you're accustomed to in America exactly. because you'll be sorely mistaken, yet all while being happily surprised. One thing you may find intriguing is the fact that Macca's burger patties are made with 100% homegrown Aussie beef. So why not try out the Big Brekkie Burger? Or if you prefer chicken over beef, there's also the Chicken Brekkie Burger. Two breakfast burger variations available in Australia. Another burger you may want to try is Macca's Triple Cheeseburger. Sure, you've heard of America's Double Cheeseburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. But in the land down under, they prefer three patties garnished with three slices of cheese. Sounds good. Go big or go home. Further, in the United States, there is sometimes a limited edition Angus burger available, but in Australia, the Angus burger is a permanent fixture on the menu. It's an Aussie favorite, along with the Wagyu beef burger and the beloved beetroot burger. The rest of the world may not understand the love that Australians have for beetroot, but why not give it a try and see what you're missing? Just do it! Fries with that? McDonald's fries are truly amazing. Everyone knows that French fries are an absolute staple of any self-respecting. Yeah, McDonald's fries are amazing. I, I agree on that. Fast food chain restaurant. But in Australia, they say step aside to plain old fries. At Macca's, you can garnish them with the topping of your choice. Ooh. In America, people are used to McDonald's fries drowning in salt and dipped in ketchup. In Canada, you can have them dressed like their national food, the poutine. The Australians, however, take their McDonald's fries to a whole other level. Yeah, it's time to take it to the next level. You can get them smothered in gravy, or more popular is the sweet chili and sour cream. In Italy, when like I was there a few months ago, their fries, they had uh, like cheese on top of it, like, I've never seen that before, and it was actually really tasty, really good chips right there. Cream fries. 
Picture it, a pile of fries piled high with gobs of thick sour cream and topped with mouth-watering chili for a burst of sweetness. Can you taste it? You know you want to. Another delicious option is Macca's signature fries loaded with barbecue and garlic. You may wonder why there are so many flavorful options available in Australia. Well, that would be due to the 2016 Fries With That initiative, where a Macca's in Sydney opened up and shocked customers when they realized the only thing on the menu was french fries. There were seven really? available toppings, including flavors such as chipotle cheese sauce, curry, pesto mayo, and Caesar sauce with bacon and Parmesan, among others. So many choices, but only the best made it onto Macca's permanent menu. Okay. Has your mother ever made anything as good as a McDonald's fry? Delectable desserts. You want to get some ice cream? In America, ordering dessert at McDonald's is not a very complicated procedure. The hardest choice you'll have to make is choosing the flavor of your McFlurry. That exactly. is, exactly. That is always my hardest thing to do. There are so many flavors, and I just want to try all of them. You know, oh my god! Let me know your opinions with McFlurries. What is your favorite one? The notorious ice cream machine is even working. If not, you will probably have to settle for an apple pie. Not so in Australia. The selection of desserts at Macca's more closely resembles a pastry shop than a fast food joint. There are countless delectable and gourmet desserts to choose from, each richer and more aesthetically pleasing than the last. Macaroons are a fan favorite, coming in a rainbow of colors. There are slices of different types of cakes, so you'll definitely be able to find the flavor that suits your taste. Do you exactly. prefer carrot cake? What about double chocolate cake? Or perhaps you'd rather a thick piece of raspberry cheesecake nah. dripping with jelly. You're sure to- Cheesecake, bro. I absolutely love cheesecake. It's, it's one of my favorite desserts, you know? What can go wrong with cheesecake, bro? Let me know. What can go wrong with cheesecake? Find a cake you'll enjoy. It's important to enjoy life while you still can. But if cake isn't really your dessert of choice, have no fear. Alongside the cakes are a selection of gourmet pastries, such as Belgian waffles or a great variety of muffins, sweet buns, and decorative donuts. Finally, if you love ice cream but aren't a huge fan of McFlurries, you can order soft serve ice cream cones or other types of ice cream drinks instead. No matter what your sweet tooth is salivating over, you can find it at Macca's. You want to get some McDonald's? No McDonald's value menu in Australia. I'll have the My Office is Full of Klepto's meal, please. Some of these differences between McDonald's and Macca's really give you ideas for how to improve the franchise here in the United States. However, here's one difference that actually reads more as a drawback than an improvement. The McDonald's in Australia does not have a value menu. There is no such thing as the dollar value menu at Macca's and oh, really? never has been. That means you always need to buy a full sized meal even if you just want a snack on a small burger or something similar uh, that, that's that sucks <laughs> One of the reasons the value menu is so loved in America is because it can be an affordable way to feed a struggling family, unemployed teenagers and adults alike, or anyone suffering with financial stress. Eating is the number one way people deal with stress, okay? <laughs> Not everyone can afford to pay over 10 to $20 for a meal, and the dollar menu makes fast food available to anyone and everyone. You may argue that it's not healthy for people experiencing poverty to eat at McDonald's, but let's be real, everyone eats out once in a while, and those with money problems still deserve the opportunity. Plus, that is actually true, like, probably not everyone, there are some exceptions, you know, but once in a while, you, you have to eat junk food, bro. Like, for me, I just can't. At least once a month, I'll probably eat junk food. It's a That's just me. Let me know how, what, like, you, like, how many times do you eat junk food? Once a month, twice, maybe every two, three, four months? Let me know in the comments below. Huge time saver. It's not always possible to buy groceries and then have to put in the time for meal prep too. The value menu at McDonald's is more helpful than not, allowing empty bellies to be filled even if their wallets are empty too. Macca's may have an outstanding selection of foods and desserts, but what's the point if not everyone can enjoy and indulge?
Can we try to enjoy this? Frozen Coke. It must be that brain freeze thing Mom was blabbering on about. It gets hot in the summers down under. When the sun is pounding down, it feels like a sauna, even in the shade. The water is boiling and the air is sweltering. You need something to help you cool down. Yeah. Sounds like the perfect time for a stop at Macca's. No, not for ice cream, which would be sure to melt in mere moments. Not for a soda pop either, though you're getting closer. Even a bubbly soda warms up fast during Australian summers. So to provide an alternative drink that is both delicious and helps keep you chilled out as much as possible, Macca's introduced their acclaimed frozen Coke. Carbonated beverages are capable Ooh, of- that is smart, man. Frozen Coke. Being frozen, which is a blessing during the hot summer months in Australia. Yay! Summer's here! No need to add <laughs> extra ice, which takes up precious beverage space and melts into plain water anyway. Instead, you get a big glass full of delicious frozen Coca-Cola, which quickly melts to allow you to enjoy icy fresh soda. Additionally, if a plain frozen Coke isn't quite enough, you can order a frozen Coke float as well. Well, your taste buds will thank you for this treat wow. of frozen Coke served with scoops of vanilla ice cream on top. It is somewhat reminiscent of a root beer float, except the soda pop is frozen solid. So the ice cream stays cold and it all melts together to create the perfect drink to bring. My God, that is genius, bro. Like they should have this in every hot country, you know. This is just crazy stuff. Brave Australia's heat waves. Cheers to that. Yum. Yummy! The Macca's aesthetic. B E A beautiful. The biggest aspect of McDonald's in Australia that really stands out from that of America is the entire look. Macca's has a unique aesthetic design that is both modern and inviting. The sleek, fresh structure somehow still manages to transmit a warm atmosphere. Instead of feeling plastic and cheap, Macca's uses wood and steel for a contemporary and slightly higher end look, all the while retaining the familiar McDonald's vibe. Further, it's all in the details. Meals are served up on thick wooden tablets instead of flimsy plastic trays with fries in wire baskets and Ooh, even okay. better the that's something new as well i did not know that these platters are delivered by designated servers directly to your table no more standing in line waiting for food you can pay at either the cash or one of the large self-serve touch screens then take a seat and wait for your food to come to you now that's a luxury not usually seen at many fast food restaurants the trade-off however is that with higher quality comes higher prices I'm willing to pay your price. The business model for fast food restaurants is meant to be quick and simple in and out. Macca's, however, seems to push their business to the very edge of what could be considered fast food leaning more into mid to higher end territory. This is not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, it's just different and draws in a different range of customers. As long as it appeals to customers and the food hits the spot, it's worth the risk. Macca's in Australia may not look or feel quite the same as McDonald's in America, but in the end, they're both similar joints that are sure to leave you full and satisfied. Yeah. Delicious. Take another- well, The thing is with, um... McDonald's, like, whenever I eat it, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but whenever I, like, say one, no, two hours later, I get hungry again. Uh, that's just weird, you know. Let me know if that happens to you as well. That was it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you stay till the end, don't forget, like this video, subscribe to the channel for more videos like these, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.